Let's go UCLA, UCLA. He's not your ordinary high school basketball coach. Got the kick out, that's good. Nail it, Susie. All right, good shot. Lamar Rogers is kind of a big deal. No matter if it's here or in a different community, everybody recognizes him, everybody knows who he is. Yeah, let's stay with it. For 36 years, Rogers has guided the Clark Range girls team to eight state titles. Clark Range, you've got an eighth golden ball. And back in December, reached the 1,000 win milestone, making him the sixth winningest coach in the country. Never, never imagined it. I told, I remember I told my wife that when I first started coaching, I was probably going to do it for about five years and then we'd do something else. Okay, switch it. Fourth grade is when I told my dad, that's where I want to be. That's where I want to play so I can get recognized because he's going to be the one to do it. So dad's like, if that's what you want to do, that's what we'll do. It's just such an inspiration and he's really, you know, taught me to be dedicated and to be determined and to push myself to the limits. In a town of 600 people, Rogers has put this school on the map. It started in 1983 when he led the Lady Buffaloes to their first state championship. It was a year that laid the groundwork for future success. Success that parallels a coaching legend we all know in Knoxville. Pat Summit, yes. Uh, she has eight national championships. We have eight state championships here. She uh, had a book and the girls read it and they came back and was like, Coach, you wouldn't believe some of the stuff that she says. Everything she says is what you tell us in practice. And it's just crazy how much they're alike. Still working on a matchup. Okay, we got that because that's going to be our bread and butter. Running the team since 1977, some may wonder why Coach Rogers never left. Did he not get offers to coach at the next level? Oh no, the offers were on the table. But he says he just couldn't imagine leaving. This is home. I went to high school here. And my grandparents were, were alive here until about 98, and, I, and uh, you know, I was staying here for them, and then I kind of just, uh, you know, hung around. Now, there aren't many places where girls hoops overshadows the boys' program, but with Rogers at the helm, he's changed the norm. Come game day, fans are packed like sardines into the Clark Range gym to see the Lady Buffaloes in action. You have people standing everywhere. There's not any seating. It's crazy. Like people across the road are calling, telling the people that they need to get their cars out of their yard over there. They're going to get them towed. It's a great program to be in. Of course, it is kind of hard sometimes walking by the trophy case and seeing those eight state championships by the girls. And, you know, that, and that's what we're hoping to try to bring someday. Well, it's going to be hard to catch up because the TSSAA Hall of Fame coach isn't putting down the clipboard or whistle anytime soon. Oh, me, I tell you what, we, I see some people sometimes, right now it says they've got a little girl in the sixth grade that they can't wait to they play for me and everything. No, and he'll, he'll probably, he'll probably croak over in this gym. I mean, <laughs> truth be told. All right, that's not too bad. In Fentress County. Somebody yell out shot next time here. Fallon Smith, Six Sports.